A Chinese chef, Gao, is seen as the film starts. He used to cook delicious dishes. He has a small restaurant, but he keeps it neat and clean. And he takes much interest in his profession. But there was a bad thing that happened with Gao in the past. His father left him in the care of a chef so that he would learn to cook. Gao had aspired to be a great chef one day, and he will get everything that he was unable to achieve in his childhood. Gao's father was a great chef. Now he had become an expert or master chef now. But his son Gao used to detest his father because he had spent his childhood without his father. He also used to miss him, but his father never felt it. On the other side, Gao's father was also happy that the people did not know that he has a son. And this fact used to make Gao sad. Once again, the story shifts and an adolescent, skillful, and charming chef enters the picture. He used to cook for aristocratic families. His name is Paul. He has a dream to build a restaurant in his country for his father. So he returns to his own country while leaving foreign and other faculties. He goes to the fish dealer and says, going there, please show me a large fish. However, the fish dealer forbids him. As Gao comes to buy the big fish from him, then that man sells it to him. Paul becomes furious, noticing it, and he stares at Gao with anger. As he feels envious thinking, why did he sell him this fish? The fish dealer divides the fish into two parts, noticing both of them are angry. So the dispute may not start between them. In spite of this, both continue to stare at each other angrily. Now Paul's marvelous and amazing restaurant is seen. Its inauguration is held today, which is to build a very neat and clean, chill and stylish restaurant. It is adorned very appropriately. Paul's new restaurant is exactly in front of Gao's restaurant. Noticing it, Gao's friends are worried because this restaurant was going to attract the customer towards it. It was going to take their customers and it happens what was considered a threat. All customers move to the new restaurant for checking the dishes tastes. So Gao's friends offer a discount to support him, which also appeals to customers and they again direct themselves toward Gao's restaurant. Paul's friend has become aggressive in this matter. Coming here, they argue angrily with them. What exactly is your issue? You do not have the courage to see us at our best. Then both rivals decide that there may not be a cooking competition, and it may observe that his taste is superior to another chef. Now both are demanded to partake in the cooking competition forcefully, they don't agree at first, but they recognize each other as they look at each other. They had met at that fish market. So they get ready for the cooking competition. Now the table is set and a big fish is placed on it, which had been cut by both of them. First of all, Paul cuts the fish, and he begins to extract its fish bones quickly and easily. Everyone likes his method. Now he throws fish to go. Gao also cuts the fish very skillfully. When he shows its skin to others, it means there is not little fish meat with it. So all compliment him. It means both are equally appreciated. A chairman is also present here. He informs them of an international chef challenge contest. I think you both have to participate in it. Now both had to prove who is the superior chef between them. So both get ready. Now Paul tells social media that he used to cook in France. I realized coming to China that people still use traditional ways of cooking. It is obvious that he was conveying it to Gao in a hidden way. Hearing it, Gao becomes angry. They all know that they will face each other in competition there at first. They will be able to reach the final competition if they win it. Otherwise, they will also get the opportunity to meet the master chef. And that master chef was not anyone else, but the father of Gao. Paul's friend comes to Gao's restaurant and invites him and his friend to his restaurant. You all may dine in our restaurant. Now Gao and his friends go to Paul's restaurant, but Paul does not serve the meals, but his same friend. That meal was appearing a fried egg in a plant, but its taste was unique. 
Gao thinks after tasting that Paul's cooking is very different. He rushes to the restaurant's kitchen and yells angrily, Paul, what do you want to prove by showing your tasty meal? That you are a master chef. Paul remains silent and asks him to cook meat. Let's check who can cook the meat tastier. Gao welcomes the challenge. Gao cooks meat skillfully. It is looking very tasty. Now Paul tells him, I show you how to cook this dish using the same method. Paul begins, and he cooks the same dish in record time. Gao is not finding any difference when he sniffs it. Then he understands that his method of cooking is very progressive. Being upset, he leaves that place. Now someone says to Go, that his father is calling you. Gao moves to his father. He asks, why did you call me now? Even though you don't accept that I am not your son. His father master chef says I did it, so the world may not say that you are my son. This is the cause you get a chance to partake in the International Chef Challenge competition. I rather want it that you may do it yourself. Gao says, Father, I don't need your help. You were not with me when I needed you. Anyhow, I will prove that I can do it. Due to this, you left me. Now Gao leaves this place because he does not trust the single word of his father. The next day, the International Chef Challenge competition is held. Everything has been prepared. Participants Gao and Paul are also ready. The time starts, Paul is assigned a sweet dish while Gao cooks a chicken dish. Both make their dishes with a hard struggle. Paul makes his dish before the time. Afterward, Gao's delicious dish is also cooked. He has also completed his assigned challenge on time. Judges and spectators are very inspired. Now their dishes are tasted and they both get the same numbers. Because the judge was not finding a lot of difference in their taste in dishes, it means the dishes of both were so tasty. Then a judge appears on the stage and he says to clarify this doubt, no doubt. The taste of both participants' dishes was superb. But I liked Paul's dish presentation more than the others. So Paul won this competition. Paul is extremely excited here. Gao has lost the competition, so he does not return to his house in pessimism. And afterward, he goes and plays video games. He retains himself occupied in this manner for several days. One day, the same chef comes to him, under whose supervision he passed his childhood. And Gao's father had also left him under his care. He explains Gao, look, victory and defeat are part of human life. If you are not one today, it does not mean that you will not able to win tomorrow. But Gao was not ready to return to the house. He agreed after a great explanation that he will have to train himself for the next competition, returning home. Being excited, Paul moves to his restaurant. He pleases, and there are also seated his friends in front of him. His friends suggest to him while talking, Paul, why do you not give it the chance to your friend? He is with you for a long time, trust her. And you may permit her that she may represent you in international competition. She may risen the name of your restaurant. Paul says to him, yeah, she is my good friend, I don't deny it. But she does not know how to cook. So how can she represent my restaurant internationally? Then his friend starts to talk more. It is appearing from his conversation as, he is in planning with his friend, and the lust is breeding in their heart. Then his Paul's that friend comes before him and says, placing the two soup cups before him, Paul, can you tell me which soup cup has the more quantity of salt? Here Paul is silent, because he has an issue with tasting, because his sense of taste could not work to sense, and it was natural. So Paul is grieved because of this, that his own friend betrayed him, becoming part of his other friends. So his friend says, what happened, Paul? What did you think that I have affection for you? It was your misunderstanding. It does not happen nowadays. I only befriended you so I may take part in the international competition while using you. It was not easy for me to partake as such. What did you give me in return, even if I kept your secret? Did you not offer me? 
Not now, I will not keep quiet. Because I can also partake in this competition. Another secret is revealed here. Paul's friend deceived him by joining forces with his friend. Because they both were involved now. And they were playing a trick against Paul. That they will sell Paul's restaurateur. And they will start their life with the money attained from it. But Paul could not let it happen. Paul is very dejected. And he comes out of his restaurant. The night falls and he begins to take alcohol, sitting outside. Then Go also glimpses him and says, coming beside him. Why are you seated dejected? You have got the victory. You should be happy. Then Paul says to him, Yeah, I have won, but also lost many things. Anyhow, leave it. I tell you a secret. Are you looking for that poster ahead? Actually, there is a photo of Geo's father and the master chef. Paul says, pointing his finger towards it, he is my ideal. I want to be like him. Then Gao smiles lightly and says, Paul is my father. You think that he is a gentleman and you may be like him. Then I tell you that my father is not kind-hearted. Gao begins to tell him his past story and what he did with me. First of all, Paul says, you are just kidding. Stop it. But Gao tells him that he left me in my childhood. Although I was impeding his growth, I spent my entire teenage life without him. So Paul says, don't be sad. What can we do now? Then Go says, we can throw bottles. Then they both start to throw the empty bottles toward that poster. They feel excited and they both befriended here. And this moment is very pleasurable. Paul observes that his friends are bargaining his restaurant when he returns from here. Paul asks them, what is happening here? How can you do it without my permission? So his friends say to him, tell us. To whom will you accompany me to the international cooking competition? Because in this second competition, you cannot cook alone. Your partner's presence is essential. Will you accompany your friend? So Paul says, I am not insane. I have planned whom I will take with me. Who is really eligible? Paul announces the name of Gao here. Hearing it, his friends are invited. One of them says, remember Paul. Your career will be dashed into dust. So Paul hits him on the head, and he drives them away from there. When they all leave, then ghost protector chef says to Paul, Paul, have you really thought that you will accompany Gao with you? Paul says, why not? He also touches Gao's shoulder. And he says, yeah, he is eligible. All are excited. Here the preparation for the competition started. Now it is decided between both of them that Paul will teach Gao the new skills of his cooking. While Gao teaches him his traditional ways as he cooks. Gao says, Paul, don't be worried. If you have no sense of taste, I will help you to cure your sense of taste. He continues to explain to him, do it as such. Paul also continued to tell him about the new methods of cooking. And a good time is spent here by both of them. The daily practice is cooking while singing, dancing and talking. And they had developed a close friendship bond with each other. That day also arrives, when the second international competition is held. They begin to cook their dish perfectly. And they prepare a perfect sweet dish in a short time period. It is very like die the judges. They say they have never tasted any dish as such till now. And they both win this competition. And it is rightly said, union is strength. Now there has started the third international cooking competition. And this competition was with the master chef who is Gao's father. Here Paul says to Gao, I think that you can win this competition. So you may go. Gao says, Paul, you are a perfect chef. You know the modern method so you can cook better than me. Then Paul says, no, it is not like this. Look, I fulfilled the dream of my father, building my restaurant. Just fulfill the dream of your father. He wanted to see you a great chef. Cook the meal, confronting him, and prove him that you can be a very great chef. Gao agrees and gratifies Paul. Now the third competition is started now. On the other side, the master chef also begins to cook his dish. 
Gao also starts. Before starting, a flashback plays in Gao's mind, where his father had left him, and many kids used to threaten him. He is lost in these past memories. His father throws water on his face, coming there, and he says, starts your cooking. Then Gao begins to cook something. Contrarily, Gao's father master chef cooks a very delicious sweet dish. Its presentation comprises fire, which is producing flowers. There is a great taste in that flower. Judges love it. When there is a turn off go, and he is asked to show what he has cooked. So he moves to his father, making the noodles in a bowl. And he shows it to him. Master Chef tastes it and loves those noodles. And these are the same noodles that were the cause of the scolding of go by his father. That you cannot even cook the noodles. And go had cooked noodles very tasty today that his father does not control his eating. And he begins to eat noodles frantically. And he says to his son while stopping, well done my son. You cooked the noodles perfectly. He becomes sentimental here. The audience also gets the knowledge as their family name is the same. And their actions are showing as if they are sons and fathers. Here Go's dream had also been fulfilled and also of his father. On the other side, it is seen in the restaurant that Paul and Gao work together. And their spectators are more than the previous times. No more customers visit them as compared before. People praise their food. And there was a lot going on in their restaurant. 